Hi everybody, it's me, Krista from Bluminate on Instagram. Christy um, was so kind. I'm I'm so honored that she asked me to design something with the digital kit, uh, the Christmas kit. The first thing I had to do was print out the gorgeous paper and make a paper dory with it. I made a B6 and I laminated it. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of what I've designed so far and everything in this. Um, flip through I have also made some YouTube videos to show you how I'm by far not done with this but I needed to record this and get it off to you guys so you can see and the digital kit can be released and you can make some things too I can't wait to see what you make so here this is just a note card majority of all the papers that I used in here are with that Canon matte photo paper which is why it's one-sided I do need to do some two-sided on like some heavier cardstock but the papers, the colors are just so vibrant and gorgeous on that Canon matte paper. Of course, I did a special K, um, and I'll show you how to do that. And I just, um, that's the, uh, one of the digital papers in there. I also made a bow magnet, which I will have a tutorial um, of how to do that on silhouette, or you can fussy cut it. I will also show you how to laminate it or lay it out and laminate it. I love these things. I love bows. I just can't get enough of them. You'll probably see a lot of bows. Um, there's the vellum. It's really, not vellum, acetate. It's really hard to see, but I'm going to layer some white paper so you can see. I love these trees. They're just so gorgeous. I love that Christy um, gave us some vibrant colors, but also some nat neutral colors. Um, and I just have some inserts. I just threw some inserts in there for... I get some guts and some meat in there and I'm gonna I can't wait to decorate it so I might since the Canon photo matte paper is one-sided I'll probably like double side it um, maybe because the colors are so beautiful I, I can't not use that one that's just like a page marker I can put post-its on it um, it's using the method of mirroring on the silhouette uh, design studio software so I will show you that, how to make that exact one. You can have it with the lined lines on it or remove the lines. It's all by preference. You can also use like a dry erase or wet erase pen and then um, wipe it off. So let's see what else we have here. More of the papers and the vellum. I mean acetate, I'm so sorry. This is just a um, pocket. So this is one way that I would be able to use the paper since they're one-sided. I could just slide them into those that clear folder that I made with lamination sheets. And this is vellum. Love, love, love how it printed out. And then this insert is from Christy Tomlinson. It's in her Etsy shop. This is just another page marker that I've done a today. Um, I, you could do a mirror style like that so that you could do it back to back. Um, for purposes of this I this video and the, the tutorial I just didn't get to do that but I am going to show you how you can layer clip art and do the word art on their pattern paper inside the words the letters and that's uh, vellum <laughs> more vellum I love the plaids and look at the deer heads and this is a folder that I will show you how to make and um, let me take it out to show you and oodles and oodles and oodles of stickers with all the beautiful clip art that Christy um, gave us in the kit. And then I also made some box stickers. I'm gonna show you how to make that, like basic, and then with the whiteout for to write on, and then to also add on some digital clip art on there. But this folder, what I did was, it's a laminated folder, and I did a pocket for it. So I designed the pocket in the Silhouette software. I'm going to show you. And then I laminated it. So it's a die cut. And it's that trick that Christy had shown us. And I believe some there's some other YouTube videos on there. But I'll show you on the inside. Can you see? So that's all it is. It's literally a piece of paper that I just layered that on there. I did use some adhesive to just tack it on there. And then I used a like X-Acto knife and just traced around it. And it created that pocket. I love it. So there, I'm showing you what those um, pockets look like, and then you just adhere it onto a paper. But at the end of this tutorial, 
not this tutorial, another YouTube video, um, I will show you those. On the back side, I'm thinking I might put some of those Target adhesive or I might make a pocket and put that on there. This is another um, vellum. Love, love, love the florals. I love the wood with the bows. I don't have all the papers. I didn't get a chance to print out all the papers, but um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see them soon. So these are just, I wanted to show you, you can also make gift tags. You don't have to just make things for your planners. Um, this is a little off the cut lines, but I just threw them in here. I do have a better set that I'll show you later on in another t video tutorial. And that's it. That's what I have for that. And I can't wait to show you and get started on all the YouTube tutorials. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek of the video tutorials that will be following after this. Well, not following, but you'll probably have to click on something. But if there's something that I didn't go over that you'd like me to show, please feel free to message me or let me know. And let's start and have some fun. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that I will be designing everything with the Silhouette software, but you don't need to own a Silhouette machine or have the business edition of the Silhouette software. You can use just the basic one. The most important thing is that you have the most current one, which will have the icons or all the features on the right hand side. Before it used to be on the top. A silhouette this year did a big update to the software so the features and the keys are in different places drastically so please make sure you update it if you don't have the software you can go to silhouette America and download it um, all you need to do is hit this update software I know it says update software but that is where you can also download it so if you click there, scroll down, and you need to, it's dependent on whether you have, if you need the Mac edition or the PC edition. I do own a Mac, so I am running the Mac software, but they're, they're identical. I guess it just depends on your platform. So what you would need to do is just click on it, and I'm going to click on Mac. I'm not going to run through the entire um process of how to download it because I don't want to override what I've already have downloaded but I will show you on a Mac so we're just gonna have to wait for it to download so that'll take a few minutes depending on your internet once the software has completely downloaded onto your system then you can click this and it should start to open so verifying and I'm not going to go again through all the steps, but I will show you one that seems to have, it kind of gives people trouble. They think they've completely installed it, but they haven't. And this is just for a Mac again. So what you need to do is drag the software icon, click it, drag it over to the applications. So you would hover over the applications and literally unclick it to drop it in there. This is the step that I'm not going to do. And then you just follow the prompts of whatever um, it'll tell you. And I don't think there's that many steps. And then you'll be able to open up the Silhouette software. 